my second shipment of Ormus has arrived. And it's funny, but I'm pretty sure that the universe wants me to take Ormus because on the very day that I finished the bottle of Dave Kane's Humana Gold Ormus, the bottle of Mother Earth Alchemy, yes, Mother Earth Alchemy Ormus arrived. Coincidence? I think not. Synchronicity? I think so. So, first review on Dave's Humana Gold Ormus. I liked it. It worked. Um, this bottle is, I think it's 8 ounces. Um, it's the larger one. It's the Humana Gold Ormus. I did feel those jolts when I first started taking it. It's funny because I would hold it in my mouth for a really long time and allow it to absorb um, that way and then swallow after you know a few minutes of swishing it around or whatever. And that seemed to work really well. It's funny because after I would swallow it, I would feel as if I'd had milk in my mouth, like moo cow milk, which I haven't drank in years. Um, even though I wasn't totally vegan all the time this past year, I still didn't really love milk. I always liked almond or coconut milk better than moo cow milk. But it gives you that feeling, which I guess is something activating calcium or something like calcium. I don't really know. But the Ormus was good. I had to take kind of a lot of it. Um, that's the only downside. I took probably a couple teaspoons each day. I would just take a mouthful and hold it. And that's the only thing that I didn't really love about it because it was like 40 bucks a bottle, so it lasted me two weeks, and that's like 80 bucks a month, which is definitely not within budget, really, realistically, I don't think, at this point. Um, but the other cool thing is that he sent me the Ormus and Magnesium rub, Dave Kane did. And one day my calves were really sore after climbing all those trees a couple weeks ago in Seattle. And they were really, really sore. And I put it on before I went to bed. I rubbed it into my calf muscles. And the next morning it was like nothing had ever been wrong with my calves, which was awesome. So I would highly recommend both these things. It just depends on how much Ormus you want to take. So there's the Dave's Humana Gold Ormus. And then just today the Mother Earth Alchemy Ormus has arrived. And apparently this is a little bit more concentrated. So this too, oh, Dave's Humana Gold Ormus, I just stored in its box with like stuff on top of it and put it in a cool corner of the room because it's not supposed to be um, around light or around motors so the kitchen doesn't really work and stuff like that. And this Ormus, I think it was pretty comparable in price actually. I wonder if I can open it. We'll see. Maybe the universe doesn't even have Ormus right now, or maybe it does. So yeah, this stuff looks to be a little bit more um, concentrated is what I was told when I was going back and forth with the maker. It's called Mutter, Mutter, Mother Earth Alchemy Phineas Mana, Mana Morning Dew Ormus. Um, so it's kind of take as needed, so I'm going to try to do about the same as I did and see what happens. Um, sometimes they say take it with food, sometimes they say take it without food. Personally, I like to take it in the morning first thing just after I brush my teeth and before I take any food just because I feel like it gets into my bloodstream a little bit better and since I've been really skimping on Dave's Humana Gold Ormus I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this Ormus right now because why not and I'm the only one who takes this so I just drink it so yeah I don't know uh -huh. oh just kidding there's a seal on it wait oh this will be easier anyway than trying to squirt it in my mouth okay now I can't get it off Oh, there it goes. I was about to say, does the universe want me to take Ormus? Mmm. 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 This one's definitely saltier. Does taste a lot stronger, more concentrated. Like, my mouth is kind of doing that pucker thing from all those minerals. Um, apparently this is vulcanized hot artesian mineral spring water with morning dew collected during the full moon mineral powder extract and dead sea salt so yeah i'll let you know how this goes mother earth alchemy i'll put the links to both down below i definitely liked the humana gold that was cool and one of the i think i'm going to store this in its packaging too just like somewhere away from light and in a cool spot in my house but one of the things i really like about ormus is that for some reason it's really easy for me to be raw when I'm taking Ormus. And actually now that I come to think about it, the past couple days has been harder for me to, to be raw. Like I've been kind of craving 
cooked foods, heavier foods, greasier foods. Sometimes I give in, sometimes I don't. Usually I don't. But um, I think it might be connected to the fact that I've been skimping on taking the Ormus. I wasn't taking very much because I wanted it to last. So now there's even a little drop still in this bottle, which I'll probably take tonight um, just to finish it up. But, yeah, so there you go. Those of you who are thinking of being raw, I would highly recommend Ormus. I don't really know why the two go together. I would have to ask someone who makes Ormus. But, um, they do. And, at least in my experience. So I'm going to fold this bad boy up. I'll put the links to both down below. Like I said, the Mother Earth Alchemy Ormus does taste more concentrated. So I think it might last longer because I might not have to take as much of it. But as far as quality goes, I really liked, um, the Humana Gold Ormus. So anyway, there are your Ormus reviews, and I will let you know how this one goes. I think I might stop here, but when I run out of this bottle, I might try a different kind too to kind of see which one is the one I think is the best. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might not. I might just stop here. But anyway, have a great day. Go in peace. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, the moon is still waxing, so set those intentions because crazy energy is coming in, and I will talk to you soon.